Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we're discussing a watch launched in late 2018 for the 2019 model year. 39.5 millimeters in diameter and stainless steel. This is the Grunefeld 1941 Principia. The Grunefeld brothers launching their first automatic watch, and this is it in the 1941 case style. The watch is 39.5 millimeters in diameter by 47 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip by 10.8 millimeters thick, and it has a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Several different case materials, strap colors, and dial combinations are available. This one features the traditionally illustrated Grunefeld cream lacquer dial in the steel case with a blue buffalo leather strap, and you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it wears nicely. It's nowhere near either edge of my wrist, so really you could wear this on a much smaller smaller arm. The watch is low enough to fit underneath the cuff, so it's a dress watch, and it wears like a dress watch. I could recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference, so this is the rare Grunefeld that's actually unisex compatible. The strap itself, as I mentioned, is buffalo leather, much like calfskin, but a little bit softer and with a slightly different pattern. It has a fascinating texture, and as you can see, it's a little bit lighter than navy, probably cobalt, with a lightly contrasting sky blue stitch. There's some bolstering to give it thickness and volume, and then we have a sheer cut side showing the layers of leather. On the bottom, we have signal orange leather, and you can see that there is no crimping, no gouging. This is a brand new Grunefeld factory strap. And we've got a Grunefeld stainless steel pin buckle, and you can see the profile of the buckle matches the fluting of the lugs. You can also appreciate just how complex this case is. The lugs have creases and curves, hollows, dips, and swells. Everything's of high polish. The bezel is primarily concave, but you can see it has a little bit of a stepped profile at 6 o'clock and at 12 o'clock. The case is beautifully polished and rounded, optically smooth. It's like a mirror. We have a knurled conical Grunefeld branded crown, and then a slightly stepped up box section sapphire over a dial that's made of sterling silver and then covered with a cream lacquer with transfer numerals radially arrayed. You can see there's a chapter ring printed out board, and then we have a watchmaker's four among the Roman numerals. There's a small downward step to the sub-seconds, and you can see that its chapter ring is polished. It also has a little Dutch orange 60 up the index to remind you that the Grunefeld brothers of Holland work out of Oldenzaal in the Netherlands. That's where their factory is. And you may have heard that they've closed their order books for a while. Well, that's true, but pre-owned Availability remains good at the watch box. And you can see why this watch is in such demand. We have alpha style hands, fired blue steel, a little counterweighted fired blue steel lancet style constant seconds, and then we have polished centers. The centers of the hands are polished, but then the cannon pinion, which is at the center of the center, is also polished nicely. Turning it all over, you can see that. G06 movement from the Grunefelds. Their first automatic winder and their Audemars Piguet Renault Papi experience really shines through in the quality of the finish. All of the bridges are made of stainless steel, which is incredibly difficult and time consuming to finish. It doesn't like to yield to tools. So it has mirrored anglage on the edge of every bridge. You can see that well here. Let me try to grab that a little bit better. The rotor is always going to be a challenge with an automatic, but you can see the edge of the bridge is mirrored. And then there is an easier to see satin channel raised along the edge of every bridge. And then inboard of that raised channel, we have media blasting. Now, all the screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. The wheels are all satinated. The barrel is beautifully solarized. We have four different finishes on the rotor and then ceramic bearings at the center for high efficiency. It's an automatic winder with a 56-hour power reserve. It also has a full balance bridge and a free-sprung balance for better shock tolerance and precision of adjustment. Now, the watch is adjusted in six positions, which is one more than a standard chronometer. All of this pivots on 31 joules, and you can see that the shape of the bridges is like the roofs of Bell Gable homes, traditional Dutch buildings with Bell Gable roofs. Well, you have that same profile along the bridges, and you can see that in a nod to the pocket watch era, the pivot jewels from the barrel arbor all the way down to the terminal and to the drivetrain, they're sitting in a little golden chaton. Again, that's how things were done in the pocket watch era. You can see that the surround to the solarized bearing center has been black polished. It's very, very attractive. All of this is 
is water resistant down to 30 meters. It doesn't have hacking seconds. That's just about the only refinement it lacks. It has every other refinement and grace in spades. Beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, so it has an aesthetically pleasing 3 hertz rate. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.